Now we have loser bracket final between GT and Hades. Left side, we have again two speedsters with Talon, Dodrio, Mew, Krasse, Hooper on the right side, Sylveon, Intellion, Trevenant, Blissey, and a Slowbro. So, so far, OG's Talonflame, honestly, I have to say, hasn't impressed me all too much. But maybe it's ramping up. And now we have again GT up against Hades. GT definitely the favorite. But Hades also making top three right here. Which a lot of people probably did not expect. I mean, maybe they did expect it. We have a slow bro top path now. So I assume it's gonna be a skyed damage bro. As we have an early gank here by the Sylveon. Nothing too unusual to see anymore. I'm gonna try to pressure this Town of Flame as Town of Flame is. I mean, yeah, it's not the strongest early game. But acrobatics does have good lasted and good early game damage. But it's still quite squishy. And I think guaranteed stocking back on Mew. She is famous for this Pokemon. Definitely one of the best ones in North America. As we're gonna go forward right here. Look for the Count to Trevenant, but enough healing. They'll be there, but they get low points in already. 33 in total. As Sylveon completely used the Hyper Voice. Trying to counter gank. As we enter the first Ataria fight. Nice drill pack onto the Ataria. They'll just get one shot. And all go over to GT, except for maybe one Swablu. Good secure. As. Oh, Talon might get caught. He has to go back to the left side. And yeah, there's a Sky Bro on top. As a damage dealer. So, that's gonna be quite interesting. I mean, it's up against Dodrio, Cross the Talon. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. Let's see how much Celestia is cooking. Going for the Sky Bro top path. Moist Strats, yeah. Moist threats up on top here. 14 to 0 points so far. GT starting out strong in this game, getting all the mid Ataria too. All of them disappear in one drip, pack one Electro Ball. As Lutanj is running around, looking for the next one here onto Russ. And uh, again, the Trevenant in the early game just feels like such liability to me. It really does. Oh, level 7 for Stocking, level 7 for Lutano, level 7 for OG. All three are level 7. On the right side, we don't have a single Pokemon level 7 yet. So, that's how good the early game is going for now. The first two and a half minutes are going absolutely perfect. But Hades have pretty good team fighting, definitely. Very strong Unite moves. So, GT have to be on point on this team fight. But they're going to keep on just running over this early game. Can they take on the slow? But yes, the drip pick comes through. Electro Bond to Plissy. Two more kills for GT. Are they going to break this goal already? Yes, they do so. And they're going to head now onto this Regilecki. They can maybe make a double Regi play. If they take the Regilecki fast enough, they can still port towards bot path. And then take both Regi at the same time. Oh, the port are coming through. And there we go. They're going to take it. Lutano takes one snipe shot. Almost level 9 already. GT might just run away with this game. Tower of Flame can stay top path and maybe push it in. Or at least pressure slow bro a tiny bit. But this is already looking very brutal for Hades. Very, very brutal. I have to have to somehow find a way back into this game already. And it just started, so... Yep, it's rough. Now engaging onto Sylveon. Sylveon also getting taken down. On the rotation of what spot path, they're going to try to break the next goal now. Flying up, flying down onto Trevenant, onto Inteleon actually, they don't even care about Trevenant, they just look for the Inteleon, who's hiding in the toy grass, and they, I mean they don't have to break this goal, I honestly, I don't think you should break this goal right now. I don't think it's too useful to break, you don't really get anything with it. As they go for the Red Eyes, gonna pick up the second objective of the game, 2 out of 2. And GT looking on point. Next Ataria spawn right now, in just 3 seconds. 550. Well, not on top because the goal got broken. So when a goal gets broken, the timer of respawning Atarius changes. If both goals are still up, it's 550 for the next one, but because top goal got broken, that thing is a bit different now. I always wonder, like, have they ever explained it anywhere in the game how it works? Is it like, can you like look it up somewhere inside of Pokemon Unite to understand how Ataria spawn? I don't think so. It's there. The Slobby Knight onto Mew and they take down Mew with the side of Snipe Shot. Takes it down. Now Tano Flame OG this time hitting a nice Unite, but he still gets taken down. Awesome Horn Legion to Wotama. And this could be the team fighting. As I said, they have very strong team fight on side of Hades and it's showing off already now. As they're going to score 37 40 points on this bottom goal. Another 40 maybe? No. It was 2 times 40. 
They break down the bot goal. Say so the, the 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 spawn timer changes when the goal gets broken. It's uh I don't know, it doesn't really make any sense, I feel like. But yeah. I think it just skips the entire next spawn and then I don't even know how it works sometimes. I try to figure out the Atavia spawn sometimes, but like <laughs> it is so weird sometimes. Yeah, 445 now it spawns here. It is uh it's complete nonsense on see how that area work. They're gonna try to dive this goal. Very aggressively, Trevin Knight to defend, but they already took down Sylveon. So GT looking to keep on pushing this goal. Exos into the wall. A huge mute damage comes in with the help of Hooper. Slow is gonna buy a lot of time onto, do it, onto Lutanu, who's gonna try to jump away. This guy though snipes him. And Lutanu Gustav Lu G-Stars are gonna fall now. And the slow bro is just absolutely more. Okay, I was about okay, I jinxed him. He goes down. I was holding back on the mortar with me. <laughs> Oh man, the classic caster. The moment I say he's a mortar, he goes down. Classic. Absolute classic. But yeah, I mean, they've caught up an experience. Level 12 now for Sylveon. Level 12 for Slowbro. And uh, he is strong. And the two speedsters. A late game certificate to play. Inteleon, Slowbro, Trevor, and Blissey. Definitely on the stronger side, I would say at least myself so. But you know, what do I know? I'm not a pro player, eh? But I definitely would favor the late game a tiny bit more. Veggie see now. Going to the side of GT pretty much for free. And Hades are going to set up a top push. Onto this first goal, they want to break or they want to make up in points. And now Mew and Doji can just rush towards the right side. As no one of Hades is in base. Town of Flame, even Unite moving just to buy some time. But a nice horn each again to catch him at the end of his Unite move. This Trevenant really paying a lot of attention. And OG goes down. Same as Krussel. They're going to break the bottom goal. But Antillion gets three KOs. And they also break a goal. I don't know who won this exchange. I mean, Hades got three KOs. But GT broke the second goal on bot. They're still in a point lead. But it's definitely uh, close, gonna be a very close game. Home base is open, which opens up the opportunity for Hooper to uh, get a base portal in. So losing your second goal against Hooper can be quite scary in case something goes wrong. And now we head into the Rayquaza. OG picking up red buff. So. Who is Slowbro gonna focus? Probably Lutano, I would assume so. Or maybe, uh, maybe Mew. If Slowbro can't find Mew, I think I might just go for Mew. Honestly. But they have to burst it down before Unite Move can come out. Slashy being very aggressive. With the Slowbro. Walking up aggressively. Kinesis is going to miss. Kind of funny to see that Kinesis guide. I mean, something people play, but I'm still, like, never sure if I really like it that much. Ryu could also pressure a backhab in the main base. But only has 19 points currently, so not really worth it to go there whatsoever. Oh, Slowbro getting stunned now. Lutan with the flank, but he can't flank against Slowbro. That is not possible. He cannot, he's just trying to scout out. Basically, be careful if Slowbro just goes on him. But Trevenant just drops? What? Trevenant just goes down from 100 to 0 to a tank, a support, and Mew. One minute to go. We have still have Lutano trying to pressure a flank. He doesn't want to go for it. He just want to show that he's there. So that maybe Hades gets a bit nervous. They're going on to slow bro, slow bro. There's the drip pack going on to Sylveon. Sylveon called from Desert Team. As they move out, there's, there's Ludino you know, Kai run a Kai. Well, that was so weird. That really like went completely the wrong way. I feel like for Lutano, might have probably want to enemy team. But he finds a nice drip pack. On to Inteleon, but two members are down of GT, but the super unbound is huge, and now Mew's gonna go forward, boost out, take on to Trevenant, they're gonna take it down, Sabian goes down, it's last person standing, off Blissey, and GT gets the ace in. They buy Pades, and GT is gonna take the first game. Next draft, we now have five speedsters. What is going on? We have five speedsters and a Mimikyu. We pretty much have six speedsters. Zoroark, Dudrio, Mimikyu going up against Talon Flame, Muscarada. Wait, Leafeon. Leafeon, Dudrio, Zoroark going up against Talon Flame, Mimikyu, Muscarada. 
I mean, Mimikyu's pretty much a speedster. You can't tell me whatever you want. Shadow Sneak and play rough as a speedster, right? So what is going on? What, what is happening? I don't know what to expect from this game. We have not a single attacker. Not a single attacker on either side. Lutan rocking the Mimikyu. Probably going for Shadow Sneak and play rough. Would make the most sense, especially up against speedsters as well for the extra burst damage. And the iframes. As in Shadow Claw, you kind of get stunned out and burst it down a bit too fast against this much, you know, burst damage on the left side with the Rock to your Leafeon. So yeah, this is going to be a quite, quite interesting. Something I've never seen before. It's pretty much 5 plus a... I mean, again, I, I call Mimikyu a speedster. Is that wrong to say? I know my YouTube comments were like, Chris, why do you call Mimikyu a speedster? I mean... Play Rough Shadow Sneak is pretty much a speedster. It's similar to, like, Electro Drift and uh, Electro Drift Maridon. It is a speedster. I don't, I don't know what you want from me. It's pretty much a... Yeah, a pseudo speedster. I mean, it's a pseudo speedster, yeah. But I think that's fair to say, definitely. As we now have Mimikyu heading towards top path, we have Zorok dashing all over on bot path. Trying to get any KOs done, but will not be enough yet. I mean, Scyther too, yeah. I mean, Scyther's pretty much a speedster. They just don't... It's kind of weird they never gave Scyther, like, its own, like, model. I think they should have done that, some, like, long time ago. But, yeah. As they're gonna go forward now, Zork is dashing. But, uh, hey, it's not gonna find that many KOs early game. Especially up against... I mean, Muscarada's quite safe, Town of Flame is quite safe. So, I really don't know how much Zora can even do in this game, either. But so far, it's quite, quite passive. Neither team really overextending. GT is one win away from moving to the Grand Final. And Hades is one loss away from, you know, just getting eliminated. So. But I want to see some action now. I want to see these speedsters run at each other on cooldown. And look for outplays. As Lutano doesn't have Shadow Sneak yet, so can't quite do much. Maybe the Shadow Sneak not landing onto Dodrio. He does land it. Is he going to take it? Nah, he's not going to take it, right? I know you want to. But uh, you can't in this scenario. As he's gonna fight now on bot path. Zorok dashing forward, looking for the faint attack, but can't quite change it. But a huge run that comes to the right now. Vutano finds the play rough. Does he also get a reset? Yes, he gets the reset. He flies onto Dodrio, gets himself a double KO. Nicely done. And also allows 20 points to go in for the Muscarada as the wall is gonna hit. And now 30 points, maybe going for Mimikyu. Now he doesn't wanna score right here, doesn't wanna break the goal, probably. This early on. And do we have cut for. Uh, he actually always plays cut, but he just gets stunned into the wall and taken down by the play rough again. Rutano now, eight and a half, fits another shadow sneak. Auto Trevon is going to take it. The play rough, though, I think, got stunned out. And Leafeon, though, gets the solo bolo on Town of Flame on top path. A bit of a disaster. I mean, Flake OG is still a bit struggling on this Pokemon. I'm surprised he's playing a Town of Flame this much right now. Where's the Lucario? Where's the OG Lucario? That's what I want to see. As the Votama comes through, the boost outtake gets the KO on the, or gets the knockout, or the last hit, whatever you want to call it. Leafy now has level 8, Mimikyu has level 9. So both Unite moves up, Regis is going to get started, but they're so secure for GT right now. How are they going to secure this one safely? They can't really, they kind of just have to hope that they have better RNG. Because I mean, Lutano has Shadow Sneak and play rough, but I don't think that's guaranteed last hits either. That fight's going to happen out now. Mimikyu's going forward, he finds the KO though, with the Unite move on to Dudrio. As Mirra is going to take down Lifion and all the speedsters are just going ham everywhere. Shadow Sneak's going to land. Egg Bomb is not going to be enough. And Lutano picks up the Reggie Steel for the side. And even hits a Shadow Sneak onto Zorak. Play rough is going to be there. He dodges away from the Zorak Unite move. He nice eject button forward by Egg Noob, But the healing of Softbolt keeps Zorak alive. Oh man. Nice Shadow Sneak's now by Lutano. Uh, hitting over and over again. Can he find another one? He finds another one to Zorok. Is he going to reactivate it right now? Looking for the play rough. Oh, he doesn't have it. He gets stunned out of it. Horn leached away. And now he's going to get stunned and taken down. And now the game is so explosive. X is before Crosser comes in. A double boot hammer. Crosser Unite moving. It's going to also save Edegos. Who makes it to the berry. What a fight. Now Blissy stunned into the void. Taken down by Crosser and Edegos. All right. Now we have the action. It's, it's heating up. OG now invading. This is going to take away a blue buff. That's pretty, pretty decent. Regilecki up top path could also be up for grabs as Zorok's going to take on Krasse. There is a Dodo Unite having to be used just to be able to live. He's going to try to look maybe for KO into Muscarada. But the Shadow Seek of Lutano, it hits! Oh, but the play rough will not quite hit because Rudy is just still too fast and is able to run away. But man, Lutano is hitting some 
insane shadow sneaks this game so far over and over again this one's gonna miss though as leave is gonna jump forward town of flame is here looking for a unite move but now he gets blocked by his own crustle he gets blocked by his own crustle and now the wood hammer's messed up by trevenant can they get any ko's the play right for the zorak he's gonna take him down Rutano gets the ko dodges away from the damage with the iframes and what is going on this game is oh my this is fun <laughs> that's what i want to see but that crustle boy the cola accident yeah that was cola right there that rock tomb was a bit unfortunate <laughs> now rachel Lecky is gonna grab next for gt they're gonna secure it as hades cannot fight for it and blissy goes down blissy is going to fall zorak is gonna do nice illusion to dodge away from the flower trick i think just fully removes it doesn't it like full heal as well removes flower trick as they're going to go forward now, Zorak is diving back in, looking for the Shane onto Edigos, does get it. And Esper gets taken down, Mimic Unite onto Dodrio, Death Knight of Damage, Shadow Sneak is going to connect. He's going to use it, maybe, is he going to use it? No, it ran out of time now. And Mimic has to run away, he's going to miss the play rough. But he finds the Shadow Sneak onto Zorak, who's going to preemptively pull here, in case of the fear. But Utano doesn't even reactivate it. Man, what a game. Currently, Hades actually with a bit of a level lead. They have three level 12s compared to two, three level 11s on the right side. I'm surprised they actually had an experience by this much. GT is so low on experience. And now Dude Rio just gets taken down. He was going for the red buff of the enemy side. He saw it respawning. But he just gets taken down pretty much instantly. 155 to 167 points now. I'm going to try to go forward here. Try takes our landing. Gonna go in, gonna dive in with the cards. Edigos is in the tanky enough though now. Slash his way to deep zero, gets taken down, but they're also gonna lose Town of Flame at the same time. Shadow Sneak onto Leafion. He can reactivate Nutano's going forward. Blissey now in a terrible position is gonna get taken down surely, but Blissey now gets taken down by Edigos. As Krass is gonna unite move up, Trevenant trying to buy time, gets onto the wall, also taken down. Oh man. The Shadow Sneak, Lutano, what? <laughs> his Shadow Sneaks this game. Are on a different level. He hits them over and over again. And this one was also absolutely amazing. On to Leafeon. Gets himself some extra experience. I guess this is why Mimikyu was banned earlier a few times. I guess we uh, see it now in action. Why Mimikyu was banned. Can GT clutch it out though in the final two minutes? As Eknub gets engaged on. Doesn't have Unite. Eknub's gonna fall right here, surely. They do lose Rejeleki on top, but Krass is still alive, finally taken down. But now it's a 4v5. Town Flame is trying to buy time. OG? He just goes in 1v3 with the Unite, which is trying to buy time, I guess, for Krass to respawn. But. I don't know what that was about. Gonna go forward now. Flower Trick onto Blissey, but it didn't get activated. Or didn't get empowered. As now, OG just gets taken down. His fly is on cooldown. Dodo Unite is gonna go forward. Rekwazum on HP. Bliss Assistance goes in. I think onto... I don't know what that went on. Rekwazlo in HP. And GT is gonna go in. Mimikyu is gonna unite move onto Trevin. Trying to get skin with a bit. Rekwazlo in HP. Muscarado Unite is there and gets it. Muscarado Unite is so massive. As stocking pick up Rekwaza. They get five KOs. They ace the side of Hades. What a massive Muscarado Unite. And GT wins the speedster duel. In the end.